need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Before you can use the payroll features of QuickBooks, you must set up payroll for your company within QuickBooks. To find out how you can do this, you can select Employees, roll down to the Payroll command, and then choose Turn on Payroll in QuickBooks from the menu bar. In the window that then appears, you can evaluate the payroll plans and purchase a payroll plan through QuickBooks to begin the setup of your initial payroll data. After you have purchased a payroll plan, you can set up basic payroll information by selecting Employees from the menu bar and then choosing the Payroll Setup command. Use the QuickBooks Payroll Setup wizard to input the information that QuickBooks will need to know in order to begin processing payroll for your company file. QuickBooks uses the tax tables that come with your payroll subscription to calculate employee payroll. QuickBooks calculates each employee's gross pay, taxes, deductions, and net pay. In QuickBooks, you can write the paycheck, record the transactions for the correct amounts, print payroll forms, and keep track of your tax liabilities. As an employer, you must subtract taxes and other deductions before issuing an employee's paycheck. Some typical deductions include federal and state withholding taxes, Social Security taxes, or FICA, Medicare taxes, and state unemployment insurance. You may also deduct for benefits such as a 401k plan or contributions to your company's medical and dental plans. When you withhold Social Security, Medicare, and federal withholding taxes from employee paychecks, you must submit regular deposits of the withheld money and file quarterly forms that list the amounts withheld from each employee's paycheck. Let's review the payroll process and the steps that you must complete to do payroll in QuickBooks. So first you need to enter information about your company. This includes information about your federal and state tax ID numbers. You usually enter this information when you set up your QuickBooks company. You can view company information by selecting Company from the menu bar and then choosing the My Company command if you're using QuickBooks 2014. You can select Company and choose Company Information from the menu bar in QuickBooks 2013 and previous versions. Next, you'll need to enter information about your employees. The QuickBooks Employees list stores general information about your employees and specific information related to payroll, such as the employee's salary or hourly rate, filing status, number of exemptions, and miscellaneous additions, deductions, and company contributions. You can store payroll information that most employees have in common within your employee defaults. Then whenever you have a new employee to add, you simply enter information that is specific to that employee, such as their name, address, and earnings. Next, you'll need to enter information about your payroll items. QuickBooks maintains a payroll item list. This contains items that affect the amounts on a paycheck, including company payroll expenses. Now, when you specify that you want to use payroll, QuickBooks creates most payroll items for you, but you can add others if needed. Also, you'll need the tax tables for federal, state, and local withholdings. QuickBooks uses tax tables for its payroll calculations. You get the current tax tables and keep them current when you subscribe to one of the QuickBooks payroll plans. If you choose not to subscribe to one of these plans, then you must calculate and enter payroll tax deductions manually for each paycheck you create. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.